I give my dog um, even one slice of mozzarella cheese as a training treat, he has a loose stool. Would that indicate a dairy allergy and or that I shouldn't give him colostrum from grass fed cows? So. So this is a good, um, yeah, great question. So a dairy allergy, um, no, if it's just loose stools that he's developing an intolerance. Yes. So that sounds like um, maybe I'm nitpicking. But um, when we think of allergies, we think of an abnormal immune response to a substance where there shouldn't be an immune response to. I hope that I hope that I said that in a way that makes sense. So allergies, the, the immune system is responding to an external substance in this case. You know, you're asking about mozzarella um, cheese and it's it's mounting an immune response to that where it, sh it shouldn't do. <coughs> now, that's um, that's not going to be the case here. But what we could have is an intolerance, which is where the intestines are just not able to to process um, a food substance, uh, how we might expect them to process a normal food substance. Um, and, and the reason here is that um, many of our animals become lactose intolerant or are lactose intolerant um, and it's the same with with us actually some of us can you know and, and we we become lactose intolerant so when we are young clearly we are fed milk um, and I say we I'm including our pets and, and all animals in that um, and we have the ability to digest lactose which is the the kind of the main nutrient source in in um, milk but as we get older we lose that ability to digest lactose uh, so that then means that if we are giving a lactose source, then that can cause diarrhea. So what happens is that stays within the gut, doesn't get digested and it actually draws water, extra kind of water into the intestines. And then we get some get some diarrhea. Um, so that may be the case, but we also can have, um, I guess, a, a dietary sensitivities from other underlying in um, problems within the intestines. So we can have inflammatory bowel disease um, and that comes in a whole spectrum of different forms. And there's a number of other different things that we can give. I think ultimately, if you're finding that, um, you know, it's just mozzarella cheese or cheese is in general, then, you know, you, finding another another um, kind of training treat, you know, a small piece of sausage meat or, um, you know, whatever it is. I mean, I also going, going back to that weight um, issue. Um, thinking of treats as as a way of I guess bonding with our dog and it's important that they enjoy their treats but if it's just um, a general treat then we can give things like um, carrot sticks broccoli heads um, green beans um, air pop popcorn and um, plain rice crackers things that are um, your dog will still find kind of tasty um, they'll still enjoy but a very um, low fat low energy um, and a healthy as well now when it comes to training clearly we want something that's really going to motivate our dog so um, yeah, finding something. So cheese is something that is commonly used. It is very high fat. I mean, there is this problem with lactose um, tolerance. Um, sausage meat or something like that would be, um, you know, would be uh, a, an, an alternative that should work just as well. Itching, licking, biting, rubbing, chewing, gnawing, and infection are all symptoms of itch. But what causes an allergic reaction in the first place? Find out in this next video.